today I did see General Hospital. And it wasn't bad. In fact, it was actually pretty good. Now, I'm going to start with Cody and Britt and go all the way down. Cody cannot stop putting his foot in his mouth. He was telling uh, Britt how you know, she should you know, give that date a chance and blah, blah, blah. So far and so forth and all that. And she's like, I'm going to call it this date is over now. And I'm like, okay, at least she knows what she doesn't want. She doesn't want to date this guy. And he proceeds to put his foot in his mouth and says something to the point of, oh, well, you don't like horses, then I guess you're being a horse's butt. And Britt decides, hey, she's going to take a glass with water in it and dump it on his head. Which is rightly so, because that's no way to get a girl to go out with you. None at all, sir. Um, Josh Kelly, who plays Kurt, um, can't remember what his name is right now. Um... He played Cutter, but now he plays, um, I can't remember his name, but he got told off by Britt. Um, if anyone remembers the name of this character, would you please, uh, draw it down in the comments? Thanks. And subscribe to my page, if any of you haven't already. And then we go to... Brooklyn and Chase, who's trying to get that sleaze ball, and I do mean sleaze ball, to buy into the fact that Brooklyn is Chase's manager. Well, I hope this plan works. I really do. As I like, I would like to see this guy fry. After all, he is a big line cad. And I don't mean he's Tad Martin from Pine Valley. He's just a, a tad of a cad. He's uh, a snake in the grass. Uh, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, had a little inside belchy. Oh, Josh Kelly, who plays... Um... Cody, that's the name I was thinking of. And then we have Curtis and Selena, which I don't trust this chick. Not one bit. She gives me these creepy vibes that says that she doesn't have to say a word. Not one word. She just gives you that look like you don't do as they say, your dog meat, your dog crap. I will hunt you down and I will tear you limb from limb. And I may look nice on the outside, but deep down, she's a snake. And she'll strike at any moment. And then we've got Maxi and Spinelli. Who is proceeding to tell Maxie for the umpteenth time, and she never listens to him, and I don't know why. It always comes back to bite her knee. Always comes back to bite her knee ass. I mean, the hippie guy, um, Peter. Now this guy, come on, Maxie, wake up. Smell the Folgers crystals, would you? He's working for Selena Wu. Okay? A woman who is in the mob. A woman you don't want to F with. So, 
yeah, the very same woman that beat the crap out of Cody is going to send another person to beat the crap out of, um, can't remember what his name is either. Franco Part 2. Well, that's what I'm calling them. And then we've got Marshall and Portia that he's keeping an eye on. And I'm looking at her like, just tell Curtis that Trina's his daughter. Get that over with already, please. We've all been sitting on this for three years. Not two years, three years. Come on, out with it already. Give me a break. Give us all a break. Just come clean. It's good for the soul. Besides, if Miss Wu finds out, she's going to probably call Curtis and tell Curtis. I wouldn't put anything past Miss Wu. Sorry, Selena.